Hello students. Good afternoon. How are you? I hope you all are safe at home. Students, welcome back to our IT section, St Standard Four, Chapter Seven, Introduction to Presentation. The easiest and most common software program used to create presentations and handouts is MS PowerPoint. A presentation is a systematic display of text along with graphics, movies, sound, etc. A presentation in MS PowerPoint is structured in the form of a series of slides to which color, image, and sound can be added to increase the impact of the text presented. Slides are the individual pages of an MS PowerPoint presentation and the software enables the display of slides one by one on a screen. PowerPoint presentations are used for various purposes such as a business meeting, teaching, corporate seminars, project presentations, etc. Now we will see steps to start Microsoft PowerPoint. First, click on Start button. Second, select All Programs. Third, click on Microsoft Office. And fourth, click on Microsoft PowerPoint. This is a MS PowerPoint window. Now we will see the parts of PowerPoint window. First, the Microsoft Office button. The Office button is on the topmost left corner of the window. When you click on the button, a menu appears which has various options to create a new file, open an existing file, save file, print document, send fax, or email and many other options. Second, quick access toolbar. It is similar to the one on MS Word. It is located on the top left corner of the window. Besides the office button, by default, it has some commands like save, undo and redo, which are frequently used. As this name suggests, it allows easy use of the options or commands. You can add or delete any commands in this toolbar by just right clicking on the commands in the ribbon and selecting add to quick access toolbar. You can also remove the command when not required. Third, the title bar. The title bar is the topmost bar of the MS PowerPoint window. It displays the name of the program, Microsoft PowerPoint, and the name of the current document on which you are working on. Fourth, the ribbon. In 2007 version, the menus and toolbars of the program have been replaced with the ribbon. The ribbon is located on top of window and below the title bar. There are various menus on the ribbon. And each menu tab displays several related command groups. Each command group has various tools which are used to create the slide shows. Feet rulers. There are vertical and horizontal rulers which is used to measure and line up objects in a document. To view the rulers, first click the view tab. And second, click ruler in the show hide group. The rulers are now visible. Six, slides, placeholders and notes. Slides appear in the center of the window. You can create your presentation on slides. Placeholders are boxes where you can either type text or insert clip art or pictures and charts as required. 
you can use the notes area to create notes to yourself for reference during a presentation and last status bar the status bar generally appears at the bottom of the window the status bar displays the number of the slide that is currently displayed the total number of slides and the name of the use now we will see to create a presentation let us understand how to make a presentation first when you open powerpoint a title slide appears by default second click on office button third click new option fourth a new presentation window opens fifth select blank presentation and click on create sixth click to add title text box and type the title name seven if there is a subtitle you can type the subtitle in the text box and eight since there is a no subtitle we can delete the text box of the subtitle next is a, to create two new slides after creating the title slide you can create additional slides steps to create a new slide first click on home tab second click the new slide button in the slides group the office theme dialog box appears and displays several layout templates third select and click the layout you want the layout appears in the slide of the powerpoint window next is to add text click inside the click to add title place holder and type next to insert a picture or clip art click on insert and then click the clip art option a clip art window appears on the right corner type the name you want and below the search for option and click on go all related pictures appear the select and double click the picture required to add more additional slide of your presentation repeat the above procedure or follow the steps below first right click the slide on the left window click the option new slide second a new slide has been created third right click on the new slide a menu appears click on layout various options appear and then select and click the layout you want click to add title and type the heading insert the picture by clicking the clip art option and now the clip art window appears the right type the title name then search option and click go the related picture shall appear select and double click on the picture required as the picture is inserted on the slide similarly repeat the same procedure for different slides now you can use additional features for the presentation like apply theme background etc first apply theme a theme is a set of colors fonts and special effects themes provide attractive backgrounds to enhance the look of your powerpoint slides to apply theme to all of the slides in your presentation first choose the design tab second click the scroll button in the themes group to get more options and third click the design you want next to apply a theme to selected slides first click the slides tab located on the left side of the window select one slide on which you need to apply a different theme third press the control key and hold it and click the other slides to which you want to apply theme fourth choose the design tab fifth click the more button 
in the themes group. 6. Just click the theme you want to apply. The new theme is applied to the slides you have selected. Next is adding a background. Steps to adding a background. First, click on the design tab. Second, click on the background styles option. A list of options appear. Third, select the option you want or click on format background. A fill window appears. Fourth, explore various options and click on one of the options to see its effect on the slide. To save a presentation. Steps to save a presentation. The steps to save a presentation are similar to saving any other file on a Word document. First, click on the Office button. Second, click on Save as option. Third, a Save as window appears. Select the location where you want to save the presentation in the Save in drop down box. For example, desktop. For give a name to the file in the file name text box. Fifth, click on save. The file is saved on the desktop. Next is a, to run a presentation. You can run your slides. Show using either of the following step. First, press F5 on the keyboard. Second, click the slideshow tab. Click the from beginning button in the start slideshow group. Third, click the slideshow icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. The slideshow starts with its first presentation and you can go to the next slide by either clicking the mouse or clicking on the right arrow key of the cursor control keys on the keyboard. Next, to open an existing presentation. First, click on Office button. Second, click Open. Third, an open window appears. Fourth, select the folders in which the file has been saved from the Look in drop-down box. Fifth, select the file to be open. And six, click on open. Next is to close a presentation. First, click on office button. And second, click on close. Next is to exit PowerPoint. First, click on office button. And second, click on exit PowerPoint. Otherwise, Click the close button at the top right corner of the window. So everyone have understood this chapter. Introduction to presentations. So now tell me the parts of the PowerPoint window. Yes. First is a Microsoft Office button. Second, quick access toolbar. Third, the title bar. Fourth, the ribbon. Fifth, rulers. Sixth, slides, placeholder and notes. And seven, status bar. So students, I hope everyone have understood this chapter, Introduction to Presentations. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.